everyone, this is Anna Carter from Rose Riverway Studio and I'm here for this week's 5 minute watercolor painting tutorial and this week we're going to paint a carrot. I have never actually painted a carrot before so this will be a new experience for all of us but I'm excited. It should be fun. Okay, so once you've got all your supplies out, I am going to use a number 5 brush. This is, I usually start with a 5 or a 6. Um, helps you loosen up if you use a larger brush. And I almost always use a round brush for watercolor painting. Okay, so I've got a clean piece of paper, I've got my water um, and a little paper towel. So I'm gonna start with a wet brush, like I always do, and we're gonna dip, mix, dip. So I dip it in the water and I'm going to mix some nice orange together. So, um, my paints are dry in my palette right now, so I'm going to go between my dish and my palette several times, and that will loosen up my paints. Okay, so I've got some yellow here, and I'm just going to mix it together with some orange or red, whatever you have, until you get a wonderful carrot color. Okay, so now I've got some good orange ready for me. Okay, so to start this, I'm actually going to clean off my brush first so I have almost all of the orange off. Um, and I'm just going to start with mostly water. And I just want to outline uh, the shape of my carrot, not including the greens at the top. Okay, so just with water I'm going to start to define the shape and you can see I have a little bit of pigment in here and that's fine. So carrots are a little gnarly and they start out thicker at the top and then we're going to slowly get thinner as we go down. So I'm putting less and less pressure on my brush as I get down to the finer point. Okay, almost happy with this. And I want to get as thin as possible here at the end. Okay, so now I've got um, a basic outline. Now I can modify this a little bit as I go. But that's pretty much the shape I want for my carrot. So I'm going to go back to my orange and I'm going to pick up a decent amount of pigment in my brush. You can see, you can actually see the orange there at the top. So I'm going to poke that in near the top edges here. And this orange is a little darker than I want. Um, it has too much red in it, so I'm going to pull in some yellow and modify that orange slightly. Maybe it's a rustic orange. So I'm remixing, and it's okay that this is dark. Um, I'll just go back with my lighter orange right on top of it and I'll give it some character. And I'm not being super symmetrical here. I'm just poking and pulling this color around. And I'm gonna let that um, sort of seep down to the end here. But I'm leaving some of this lighter area and that's serving as like a highlight or gives us a little knobby bump or two. Maybe I'll do a few sort of curved cross-sectional strokes and that'll give me some very faint suggestive lines there. Okay, so I'm actually going to get a smaller brush now to do our little fuzzy green top. So I already have some green mixed up. If you don't have any green mixed up, go ahead and do that. Or if you've got it pre-mixed from a tube, great. Get a nice dark foresty green. Okay. Okay, so I've got some green on my brush and I'm going to start doing little leafy pieces here and I'm just doing really small short strokes and then 
I'll maybe suggest the stem. So that's like one little bundle. Here's another little bundle. And I'll just kind of give the idea of the little stem there. And I'm not touching my orange because this is very, very wet right now. So if I touch it with my green, then I'm gonna get a lot of color bleed. And I don't want quite that much color bleed going on here. Wow, this is fun. I should have done a carrot long ago. And you want this to be fairly big. You can tell I'm, I'm about halfway there, I think. So just keep going until you're happy with it. Generally, I tell people if you're starting to not like something on your painting, um, I usually suggest to stop and not try and fix it at the moment. Um, for me, this happens all the time. I'm kind of an impatient person sometimes. Um, and a lot of times you can mess up a watercolor painting if you just keep poking at it and you keep trying to fix it. So once you're fairly happy with something, you can just stop and maybe later, a day or two later, you can come back and add things and then your painting will be dry and your effect will be better. Okay, so now I've got my little leafy greens at the top and I've got my fun little carrot. So thanks everybody for watching. I do these five minute tutorials every single week. So you can subscribe to do some more. These are just fun practice watercolor tutorials. Thanks a lot for joining me. It's Anna Carter from Rose River Way.